Hello all. <laughs> Mr. Fowl's back at you. <laughs> Doing a couple videos this morning. I run into these projects and I always say I'm in a video and demo them on here and I never do. So this is a job I run into all the time. This is the corner of the fascia. Always, always, always separates on all these. Now this one's a flat cut. Okay, I like these flat cuts because they don't seem to be as hard to fix. Now, I just did a 45. I'll have to do a video on that when I do that one. But this one here is on a flat cut. Uh, I want to make sure all the time, you always want to make sure that the surface is clean, all right? Because whatever you do to this, Whatever adhesive that you use is going to stick to all that junk and it won't last that long. So you want to get it all off and make sure it looks clean. Now what I do with these is normally I take either Loctite or take the liquid nails. This is extreme liquid nails. This is one of my favorites. I like extreme liquid nails. All right, and before you slap this back together, you're gonna put, you're gonna try and push as much of this material inside here as you can, okay? Because that's gonna help hold it together and this not happen again. Most of the time when I do a task, I like to do it so it's gonna last, you know, two years or more, so. Bear with me, it's windy and there's dogs barking, so I hope you get all of this video. Alright, so next, I'm going to do two pilot holes at the bottom here. I do pilot holes because I do not want, I do not want this outer board to split any more than it is. So I usually do the pilot hole first. So then we're going to start out, put the screw on top first. And sometimes I use nails, sometimes I use screws, whatever's best. For this, for this flat cut here, screws work well. Now on the 45s, you probably would want to use nails and screws. Okay? Are you still there? You're flopping around in the wind. Alright, so I got the pilot holes, okay, I got my material in the middle here, so when I shut this up, I'm going to have some glue, oh, this is a mess today, I really, really is like my worst favorite of all weather types, alright, so we're going to run this nail in, oh great, my battery dies, That was a 2 uh, We'll take the 5 uh, and take care of it. So we're taking my screw, screwing it in. I 
this a lot. This is one of my favorites. Okay, and we're going to try and flatten out and cover all these cracks. All these cracks is where moisture gets in, rain, okay, and that basically is what spoils your wood. So you want to try and cover all these cracks on the corner, okay, and in the end we're going to sand it. It'll make a nice corner. You won't see any creases at all, and it'll look sweet. Okay, so I'm going to cover it about six inches back, about six inches back. Do the front also. Go over the nails. This will help keep the nails from popping out again. You do have screws in there. But on something like this, every little thing that you do works together to keep this thing together. Putting my ready patch over the nails and screws. Make it look like a complete corner. I like to make it look like the wood was just formed that way. Like it came from the factory already in a corner. They could never do that at the sawmill, but it looks good up here. Alright, and then down the bottom, I got a little gapper. Got a little gapper on the bottom. So I'm just going to put some in there to seal that and also so it takes away, takes away that big angle there. Soften that, soften that angle up so it looks nice and sweet. Okay, get as much of the excess off as you can. I try to use all the material and never put it back in with the new material because you never know what may be in this to affect this as far as pieces of wood or anything else. So that's basically what it looks like. When all this dries, we'll take and sand it. Okay. Sand it down. I'll probably throw some kills on it for some added, you know, adhesion. This kills does, you know, help protect it, but also it's got some adhesion factor to it. So it helps all this stuff to stay together that I just put together up here. So as you can see, I'm going to take you off the rack here. As you can see, okay, we have everything pulled together. And we have a nice corner here. Okay. And that should stay that way for... Two years or more, I hope. All right, guys. I'm out here working in the sun. Got any questions, leave them in the comments. It's Mr. Faust. Like it, subscribe, share the videos. And as always, thanks for watching.